Canadian Realty. Thank you so much for joining me today. If you're new to the channel, hit that subscribe button and say well. If you are looking for a home or property in Montana, definitely reach out to me. I would be happy to help you out with that. Always love hearing from you guys. Today we are going to check out the Ross Creek Cedars and Kootenai Falls and the Swinging Bridge there. Noelle has come along with me and some of her friends. So let's get going and check it out. So for Ross Creek Cedars, it's about a half hour past um, the Kootenai Swinging Bridge and it's a really easy path um, to walk, just really quite pleasant, maybe a mile, mile and a half, I'll take a look at that and post it below. Um, if you come early in this season, the road is closed, the gate is across it because there's still snow. So you just need to check the conditions to make sure that the gate is open and you guys can drive that road. It's about three and a half miles up to the trailhead. Oh, and also, we did not bring toilet paper. They have pet toilets here. They were out of toilet paper and the lady next to us had like a small pack of tissues. So she gave that to us girls. Super kind, but you might want to throw some of those in the car as well. So it does appear that dogs aren't allowed on this trail. Just please do be sure to bring uh, poop bags and clean up after your pet and also keep them on leash. All of them have been on leash that we've seen. So the road up is pretty much single lane most of the way. We some pull offs to let cars go by. So on the way to Ross Creek Cedars, you'll also pass by Bowl Lake. one of the many beautiful lakes in Montana. Okay, so we are here at Kootenai Falls. I forgot to mention it is Labor Day, September 2021. It's about 75 degrees. It's a beautiful day here. Looks busy from the parking lot. Busiest I've ever seen it. Labor Day is usually packed around the hot spots in Montana. a little bit. The girls were kind of unsettled by that. 
Then you have some stairs down and then you start on the path. What did you all think of the food? Like of my shirt. It was it's living with me now. It was homely. <laughs> it, yeah, it was different. It yeah. was when you're sick and you're home alone and you eat canned chili. Yeah. Nice. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so we don't really recommend the food here. Um, I got like a German bratwurst or something, but I had to peel the skin off of it because it was so hard to chew. Like I couldn't bite through it. And so, okay. what? Snake. I hope not. Where? I heard it and I like saw it. Oh, it's probably a chipmunk. Yeah. Oh, thanks for scaring it away. So anyway, um, they have ice cream here. We did not try it. And we think after our food, we might not try it. We might just go to McDonald's and Libby and get a uh, McFlurry. There's a little rocky beach down there. It is probably very cold glacial water. does have quite a bit of rocks and tree roots on it. Also, the railroad tracks are right up there. So you will hear some train noise every now and then. And we made it to the swinging bridge. super short hike to the bridge. You can go down to the falls as well. That'll add a little bit. And then once you cross the bridge, you can keep going a little bit this direction. So you can make it as long or as short as you would like. So lots of dogs on this trail as well, so you can bring them. It appears, just keep them on leash and pick up after them. OK, 
Okay, so I really like today's activities because they're dog friendly and family friendly. I think most anybody could do this hike. Um, not necessarily wheelchair accessible. The Ross Creek Cedars might be. There weren't a ton of routes in those paths and they were pretty wide, but I'm not positive about that. And then here at the Kootenai Falls, there is a lookout that I saw a wheelchair at, but that's probably about the, all the farther they could go because it is pretty rocky and rooty for the trail. Plus you have all those steps down. So Libby isn't super big, but it does have a couple grocery stores, Ace Hardware, Post Office, uh, fast food. We have McDonald's, Subway, Pizza Hut, and then there are a couple kind of Ma and Pa restaurants that you can sit down and eat in and hotels as well. A reward.